All right, so Anaheim is about to, or they're strengthening their position, um, creating the atmosphere that will allow them to ban sleeping on streets. A very soft way to say you can't be homeless over here anymore. Um, and I have my thoughts on it. I'm going to let the video play and then we'll get into what I think and then we can talk about what you guys think in the comments, okay? Streets or on the sidewalks, among other areas. KTLA's Andy Rose Ramos is in Anaheim with the details. Andy Rose, good morning. Hey, Megan, Chris, good morning to you both. City Council approving this new law banning people from sleeping on the sidewalk or sitting on the sidewalk. That includes in park benches and at bus stops like the one you see right next to me. Now we are sitting or standing, I should say, right across the street from Disneyland where there is one hotel lined up next to another. Now we're hearing from the employees of those hotels who say the issue of homelessness has gotten out of hand and the city council agreeing with them, trying to put an end to it. The sidewalk belongs to everybody, not to an individual that want to Grab that piece of land. It's not yours to grab. You either take services from us or you get out. We've actually helped people get off the streets and put them into rehabilitation. I do agree with that first guy the, that the street belongs to everybody. I 100% agree. You should not just be able to plot a piece of sidewalk and do what you will with it for as long as you please. I do actually agree with that. Rehabilitation. So these ordinances, although some people may feel that they are um, heavy handed, they're really necessary things for us to keep our community safe. Jesus Christ, that's insane. Golly. Why does it, is it just me? Or why does it seem like, why does it seem like we're going from city to city to see. First, it was downtown L.A. Boom. Then it went to, um, I mean, I guess Anaheim is O.C., but it, it really went from downtown L.A. to Long Beach. Now it's like Anaheim. Now they're slowly going to every place, like just wiping out homeless people. It's insane. It's insane. <laughs> Anaheim already has laws prohibiting camping on public property, but did not specifically bar people from blocking public right of ways and businesses. But a recent U.S. Supreme Court decision that says cities can enforce bans on people sleeping in public spaces, even if shelter isn't provided, prompted the city to revisit this. It is completely, Ill <clears throat> I'm sorry, it's completely legal. For the city to make it so that you cannot be on the street, even if, even if they're not providing outside shelter. Scotty, the tone you just used, do you agree with that? Listen, I'm a believer that, I'm 100% a believer In the fact that I don't want to say I don't agree with homelessness. That's crazy. But I believe that I believe you should pick yourself up by your bootstraps, dog. OK, I, I have a very close homegirl who was homeless with a child. And she fought that shit out. And now she has more money than me. OK. She was homeless while I had a, I was probably in college and she is now has more money than me. That is what I believe is inside of people. And so I don't think that you need the state, the city, Congressman Gavin. I don't think you need anybody to tell you, hey, you're not allowed to be homeless. You should not want to be homeless yourself. It should be a self internal calling like, yo, I'm not going to just sit on my ass. So let's start there. But additionally, I do think it's I think it's insane that we even have to make laws to say, hey, you can't be homeless, even if I don't provide shelter for you. Like in what world was it like, yo, you you can't be homeless because we provide shelter for you. I don't know. I, I just don't take away people's ability to pick themselves up.
health issue. And according to the latest count from this year, Anaheim has more than 1,400 people experiencing homelessness. Now, here is more detail on this law. Take a look. It's called Municipal Code 1111. It says including, now these are not the, the whole totality of the law, but here's are some of the finer points. No obstructing public spaces, no leaving property on sidewalks, no sleeping or lying down on bus benches, park tables and benches. Police and officers will have discretion whether to issue citations or make arrests for violating this new law. Residents last night. I like that. Because what if I'm, I mean, you know, I don't know why you would do that, but if I'm just sleep on the sidewalk, but I'm not necessarily loitering okay i like that the cops can say hey like i'm not gonna arrest you or give you a ticket but you know cool because i can tell he's not living here there's some people you see on the bus stop they be living there so i get it it's speaking out for and against it take a listen solution but we need help to protect our employees our guests willing i haven't seen this video willing to bet everyone that's complaining is a business owner willing to bet the people coming to the resort area i've heard over and over again tonight that they're not going to stop coming but you're not in meetings that we're in with uh, people from all over the world and it is getting out all over the world and people don't want to come to a place that's not safe can we start looking out for the homeless can we go ahead and get more affordable housing that's what we do. Those of us that are house owners, that's what we should be doing. And homeowners. So when we go to sleep, Mr. Batista, we can sleep up. better. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Why they cut the black man off like that? Oh, time out. Time out, gang. Why you cut the black man off like that, bro? All right, here's where that law stands right now in Anaheim. Even though it was a unanimously passed, it still has to go through a second round of voting. Remember Newport Beach, they passed a similar law just a couple of weeks ago. We'll wait and see if that gets passed here on that second round of voting. That's up ahead for this law. Reporting live. Here's the thing. Here's my thought process on all of this. Like, I personally, I'm, I just stand on the side of motivating people who are homeless inspiring people who are homeless who are going through these struggles to get your ass up and go hard not in a mean way not in a not in a vindictive way but like yo champ you can do it that's my whole stance on all of this the other side of my brain i'm thinking like this man Let, this this is this is this is where my mind is at with it why or, or i asked the question yo why all of a sudden are we like doing all of this it, is it just because it's gotten that bad just like is it because like it's it's we're at the breaking point is that what it is because i've always seen homeless people for as long as i can remember living in la california for as long as i can remember always seen it and so is it just like you know the straw that broke the camera's back i say hey it's too many homeless people or is it because the, because the Olympics is coming into town? And I, I want to look right now. Homeless count 2024. I want to compare the homeless count. State of homeless. 20, in 2023, a record high 200,000. Basically 256,000 people. I'm going to round up. <clears throat> or 39. 30, 9.3% of all people experiencing homelessness were unsheltered. Okay. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I want the hard number. Homeless count, Los Angeles. I'm sorry, that wasn't that was not the Los Angeles count. Let me get the Los Angeles count. I just want to know how many people. 75,000 is it saying here? Let's get. Mm. I'm looking it up here, guys. I'm looking it up here. And I and, I, and I'll share this tab with you guys as well. Let me just let me see how I put it up. Homeless count raw dashboards. We're going to go to Los Angeles County. We'll we'll do Los Angeles County outright. Can I get a number? All persons, populations. So total 75.3 thousand people. This is 2024. under 18 damn 6000 people under the age of 18 
Jesus Christ. And the older they the, the older they get, the more the more of a uh, higher of a homeless count it is. That's insane. Jesus Christ. But back to what I was saying. I just kind of look at it like, yo, is this because of the Olympics, which a lot of people are starting to think this is what the streets are saying, like, yo, is it's because the, the Olympics are coming that they're cracking down on this. So I just I, I just never has I've never seen it be this tough. I've never seen it the crackdown be this enormous until the last until the announcement. Let's be very clear, until the announcement of the Olympics. That's when it was like that we've known we've had a problem, but now laws and legislation is coming that's making it easier for these cities. Um, to get rid of people. And then here's my last thought, and I'll, and I'll let you guys go. Telling them they can't be there doesn't make them go away. You guys realize that, right? Just because you say, hey, you can't be there, doesn't make them, like it doesn't poof them away, dog. So I don't know what they think this is going to do. They're just going to move somewhere else or figure out another way to get around, it's like, I remember one of my teachers told me they were working on cancer. And the reason why cancer was so hard to beat, ooh, I'm comparing homeless people to cancer crazy. The reason why cancer was so hard to beat is because you'd inject the cell, right? Your body, your cell, you'd inject it with whatever the solution was, but the cancer was so smart that it would just move to us or it would morph and do something else to keep doing the same thing. And so that's exactly what these guys are going to do. They're not going to colder climates. And so I don't know what you guys think is going to happen. But, you know, if you're not subscribed to your channel, please subscribe to Suburban LA. Um, please leave a comment. Let me know you guys' thoughts and like this video. Scotty out.